right, guys, welcome back to Good Morning Columbia on a Tuesday, a tasty Tuesday at that. And you know what happens when the old rubber glove goes on, right? It means it's time to start cooking. Yes. Yeah, our friends from Longhorn Steakhouse. Because I'm really bad at names, they really hooked me up. Matt and Matt. There you go. We like it, we, we like it simple. Very, <laughs> very good. Makes it easy today. So we're talking steaks. We're talking grilling out. It is high uh, tailgate time for sure. And nothing says tailgate or fall like an awesome steak. Absolutely right. Uh, the brutal summer is over, so it's time to get outside and fire up the grills and sure. uh, enjoy some steak with uh, your friends and family. Right. Uh, or uh, even to compliment your, the best game out there that, that you're going to go uh, support. So sure. uh, we brought a few steaks with us today. What What is a good cut? I mean, because you go, you go to like wherever, you, if you go to Old Timey Meat or Publix or where I get my meat is Walmart, because I like Walmart, but there's 4,000 different choices. What are What are some things I want to look for to pick a good steak? Okay. Well, there are there are so many options out there, and I can see why it's it's so confusing. Um, however, we tried to slim the palate down for you today, mm -hmm. and we brought a few of our favorite cuts um, at Longhorn. Um, what do we I mean, Let's see these. Well, boys. I brought a couple fillets here. Um, I brought actually a uh, bone-in ribeye here. Um, let's actually just start from one end to another, sure. if you don't mind. So we're going to go all the way with uh, full flavor, lots of marbling. We got a bone-in ribeye here. Right. Um, okay. So the, that's the guy with the actual bone still. Where is that bone? Absolutely. The bone's going to be right oh, here. Oh, there he is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Hi, guys. Um, you'll notice these white areas here, actually the marbling inside the steak, and that's going to uh, what's going to help melt down and, and make all that flavor come to life uh, in that steak. Okay. It's, it's a great bold steak. Um, swing all the way to the other end of flavor. Um, you're, if you're more of a um, tenderness kind of person or, or a texture type person, we have two filet mignons here. Um, these are uh, going to just melt in your mouth. You can cut right. them with a fork. How is, that, how is that different than a top sirloin? A filet mignon, what part of this? I mean, there's no like part of how this filet mignon is it? Well, the, the filet mignon is going to come off the tenderloin, right? Okay. Um, and it's actually a, a, a long tube cone shaped type. Right. Uh, chunk of meat. So you're actually going to get different shapes of fillets as well. So uh, make sure you're reading your packaging and not just trying to visually um, identify these things because sure. uh, there are different characteristics depending on where on the tenderloin it was cut. Let's, so, uh, let's prep a little bit of the steak as we're talking about that last piece. Okay. Matt, what are we going to do? How are we going to get these babies prepped up? What can I do? Well, when you just grab your, you want a fillet or which? which well, I like the fillet. I'm a fillet guy. Right. Okay. You can grab yourself a fillet there. Sir. All right. There you go. Yeah. Just Absolutely. Like yeah. So on a fillet, um, because we're, we're focused so much on uh, um, texture, it's going to take less seasoning than it's going to take on something that um, we're looking for more flavor with, right? Yep. So we're going to want to move across the steak from left to right, from one end to another. Okay. Yep. All right. Do you have to put this, oh, there we go. There's a There toss. you go. Oh, yeah. There you go. Do we you have to put this in a, in a plastic bag in the fridge for a half hour to get it flavored, or can you actually just put it on like that? Well, we typically, um, when, you, when you pull them out of the grocery store, wherever you have, we like to let them air out for about 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's just uh, letting the steak breathe. It's, it's just really going to okay. open up the pores and allow some of the flavor and um, uh, to let it air out so it's going to have a great flavor. Right. Okay, so let it breathe then and put on Absolutely. whatever spice you butt rub. All right, Absolutely. so we're good to go with Well, with not this? yet. So oh. um, you don't just want to get hasty and jump on. You want to make sure your grill's good and hot first. Okay. Um, so we've actually preset this. Um, just so uh, everyone out there has a frame of reference, we're, we're cooking at about 425, which is actually on the higher side of things. Right. Um, we're really trying to seal that the flavor into the steak with that high temperature. Okay. Um, also, that high temp is going to help break down some of the marbling very quickly right. and help flavor that good steak. It's good to go. All right, Matt and Matt, the scissor. Longhorn Steakhouse. You guys are from the Harbison store. That's correct. Stop by and see Matt and Matt for some other great tips. We're going to be eating steak, y'all, and talk about how we can end this with some nice plating and some nice uh, sides as well on a tasty Tuesday. Steak 101. Got to know your meat. This is good stuff. Stay with us for coming back. Mm, that already smells good.